welcome to Encoder Fashion. I'm Rose, and today's tip is on how to use Apic Fifth Design Junior to create this perfect seamless repeat knit fabric for your 3D garment. I will share with you some simple stuff to create two cable knits and one rip knit fabric for the hoodie. Let's do it. Okay, I'm here in Apex Fit Design Junior Software. And before we begin creating digital fabrics for the hoodie, I want to point out a few things here. So this top part here is a menu bar, which contains file, edit, view, image, and so on. And the one below it is a toolbar where we have many tools that we can use to create the fabrics. Right now, only a few are active. One of them is new knit, which where we use to create the knit fabric. And over here, we have new weave and weave edit, where we use these to create a woven fabric. And to my left here is a page list where we will see many fabric appear right here when we create the fabric. And to the right here is the right menu where we can find zoom to pan tone color and so on. And of course the center area here where we will see the page appear. Then come down here is the bottom menu where we can show or hide the menu. For example, if I want to hide the toolbar, I can just click on here to hide the toolbar. Then I can click on it once again to show the toolbar. The same with this menu over here. I can click on it to hide or show the zoom tool. Now we can begin creating the knit fabric. To create the knit fabric, I will go to toolbar and select new, click on it, then this new window pop up. I will name it cotton cable knit with heart. After that, to the right here is texture. By default, it is 7J. If I want to select different number, I will click on the tooling menu here to expand. And as you can see, we have between 1G to 21G. So first of all, let me explain to you a little bit about what is G stand for. So G stand for gauge. So the higher the number of gauge, the finer the fabric will be. For this example, I will select 7G. And after that, I will click on OK to confirm. So next, we have this gauge input non-shaping, which allows us to type in the width right here and the height of the page that we want to create. So for this seamless repeat fabric, I want to change the width to 10 centimeter and then I'm going to press down the tab key on the keyboard and I'm going to type in 10 centimeter for height. Then I'm going to press on the tab key once again and be sure the seamless repeat pattern checks. Then if I look down here, I want to make sure that is 7J and instead of one by one rip, I want to select this user box here. Okay, and the color. I can either choose to change the color here and then click on OK to confirm or I can also change the color later. So now I'm going to click on OK to confirm. Okay, it looks like just a blank page here happening but no worry because the data have been created. All I need to do here, come to loop edit in this toolbar, click on it to bring the set gauge window. So by default, we have 7G and down here, display set gauge before starting loop edit 
box it checks that's what we want we pretty much leave everything as is and select ok next i will come down here and select this one repeat box and then i'm going to zoom out just a little bit by pressing down control and scroll the mouse wheel backward or i can use the zoom tool over here so the zoom tool over here if i select on this standard position on the center here it will bring the fabric to the center just like that or if i want to zoom in further i can just click on this plus sign right here to zoom in or click on this minus sign here to zoom out i can also use my favorite command here control plus scroll the mouse wheel forward to zoom in and then control plus scroll the mouse wheel backward to zoom out which is really useful after that this is a cool part okay i'm going to come over here to this pattern icon here and i'm going to click one on it so this pattern will bring me to this mini selection of pattern that i can select from so for this example i want to select this heart shape cable knit if let's say i want to select different kind of pattern i can click on that pattern folder link one and then scroll down to see what the pattern that we have offered however though for this example i'm going to select this cable two then i'm going to scroll down until i see 031 and i'm going to click on that pattern to select and now the pattern is loaded to my page next i will adjust this pattern to the corner by just hover the mouse over that plus sign right there left click and then drag to the left and then down a little bit i want it to fit this corner okay after that i will come over here and click on that ground layer because i want to select the side here this side allows me to change the pages side so if i hover the mouse over to this right edge here left click and then drag in to fit the pattern as well as from the top here if i hover the mouse over that edge right there you see this both direction arrow click on it and then drag it in until it reached this part right there okay after that i'm going to click on ok to confirm so we have a little issue here okay sometimes it is hard for us to see closely if we adjust the page correctly for this example i kind of drag in a little bit too far so i'm gonna go back either select this undo button here to undo or select the redo to redo and then come back over here you see my ground layer is still selected i will go to the side once again and i'm going to this time let's just zoom in a little further so it's easy for us to see and i'm going to pan it down by just scrolling the wheel forward to pan it down just like that and then i'm going to just hover the mouse over here so right here you see how this pattern have this extra piece after it we have to do some trial and error here if i move the matching end up here to get it all fit i have to check if the pattern fit correctly to do so i'm going to come over here and click on ok and then i will select this repeat box here to see how the pattern fit okay let me zoom out a little i want to see how the pattern fit together for this example as you can see here this thick line appear which is not what i want it doesn't look that good okay so i'm going to select this one repeat and i want to adjust that pattern let me zoom in just a little bit so pressing down control plus scrolling the mouse wheel forward and then backward after that i'm going to click on this undo button here to undo now i'm going to select that side once again okay this is just a quick tip be sure you are on that ground layer before that side function is working okay so now i'm going to click on that side once again and i'm going to hover the mouse 
just a little bit further here and I want it to just right at this edge, okay? Just like that. Next, I'm going to click on OK once again to confirm. Now, I'm going to come over here to this repeat function, click on it. Okay, so now the pattern looks better and the thick line is not there anymore, which is, that's what we want. So after that, I'm safe to select this loop simulation to bring this loop simulation window. So in this menu, be sure this Intasha slash structure box is checked, 7G, perfect. And we want this to be high quality structure, random, minimum 5%, quality, medium, and the create new page box is checked. And this is important. We want the resolution to be 200. And over here, make shadow box is checked. After that, I'm going to click on this execute. Okay, since we are going to create a cotton fabric, we want to change our yarn here to cotton, okay? To change the yarn, I have two options. I can either click on this yarn here and come to the yarn bank, or let me cancel that, or select this all select yarn, which is really useful if you have more than one yarn that you want to change, okay? The both option works is fine. So since I only have one yarn, I can just click on that yarn right there. And to navigate to my cotton yarn, I'm going to look for text default number three right there, okay? And this is the one I want. Cotton 01 yarn, I'm going to click on that and then come down here, click on OK. Be sure this auto side box is checked and come down here. So again, this is cotton count, which is exactly what I want. If your does not have cotton count there, just click on the tooling menu to expand and you can select from wool count, cotton count, and so on. For this example, I will select cotton count here. Then I'm going to click on OK to confirm. OK, this is cool. Now we just create this perfect heart-shaped knit fabric. However, though, based on a hoodie, we have pink knit fabric. And right now, this color it doesn't match. So I have to go back and change the color. To do that, I will select this execute button one more time. And then I have to click on this color chip right here. Okay, this is cool, guys. To select the color, I can either just use that color picker just like that and click anywhere to select the color. And as you can see, the color reflected instant. It's really cool. Or you can use this color slider to get how you want. Or I can come down here and pick the color chip right here, which is the color that I created earlier. So since the hoodie is pink, I'm going to select this pink color right here. And then I'm going to click on OK to confirm. Now, be sure is the auto side checks and cotton count. After that, I'm going to click on OK. And that is perfect. Now we are going to click on exit to close this loop simulation window. Okay. Next, we want to create a second cable knit fabric with a diamond shape. Okay. So this is important. For me to go back and edit this loop, I have to go to loop edit in this menu. However, right now it isn't active. That because I am on this page with this image page. I can't access the loop edit unless I'm in this loop page, okay? So I'm going to select this loop page. Now, if I look at the loop edit tool again, it is active. So I'm going to select that loop edit, okay? Then, Come down here, I'm going to select this one repeat. And after that, I will come over here and click on the center point here to center the page. Next, I'm going to come over here and uncheck this pattern box here. So we can hide that pattern, okay? Now I'm going to come over here to this pattern icon once again. 
to select the pattern that I want. So for this pattern, I want to select cable one, and then I'm going to scroll down until I see this diamond shape pattern that we will use for the fabric. Okay, so I see it is 075. I'm going to click on it to select. Now the pattern is too big for the page. It's okay, no problem. We can adjust the page once again. So instead of contract the page, we want to expand the page this time. To do so, come over here to this right menu and scroll down. I'm going to click on this ground page, okay? Then I'm going to click on this side icon here to bring the chain side or structure. I want to, once again, left click, just hover the mouse over that marching arm there and left click and then drag until you reach this edge of the pattern, just like that. I will do the same with this top part, the bottom part, and the right part here. Let me move the window out and see. Now I'm going to click on OK to confirm. OK, now the pattern looks pretty good. Let me center the page one more time. Just click on that center point to center the page. Now I'm going to come down here and check this repeat box, OK? And let me zoom out a little bit. Command plus scroll the mouse wheel backward and see the pattern. It actually looks amazing. So this pattern is come with the perfect repeat. Next, I'm going to come down here and select the loop sim icon to bring this loop simulation window. So by default, Apex Fit Design Junior is really smart. Save every data that we have created for Ernest Fabric earlier, which is perfect save us a lot of time. However though, we still want to double check. Be sure in touches, last structure box is checked, 7G, high quality structure box is checked, random, minimum 5%, quality is medium, create new page box is checked, make shadow box is checked, and resolution is 200 dpi. After that, I'm going to click on execute. Okay, another cool thing happening here. So we have cotton yarn, which is awesome, and auto side box is checked, and here is cotton count, that's what we want. However, though, we want to change to a silver color. To do so, click on the color chip here to bring this color picker, and I'm going to use the color picker here. So it's kind of white is but not so white that we lose some data on the knit itself. So kind of sell my server ish. Then I'm going to come down here and click on OK to confirm. Next, I will click on OK here once again. OK, so as you can see here, we have this perfect knit fabric for the hoodie. So since I am done with creating this knit, I'm going to click on exit to exit the loop simulation window. Now we want to save this high quality knit fabric for a 3D garment as well as save the raw data so we can go back and edit for the future design. To do so, first, I am right here on this image right now. I'm going to come over here to save in this toolbar, click on it. Then I'm going to select image and select OK. And instead of cotton cable knit with heart, I'm going to switch it to diamond. After that, I'm going to navigate to where I want to save my file, which is in this case, I'm going to save it in desktop. Then I'm going to select file type to JPEG. And by default, we have target image combined into a background quality, medium, ICC profile. You can select higher quality. However, though, I recommend select medium because medium is work really well with any 3D garment that you want to apply it to. Plus, you know, save you some space. That's awesome. After that, I'm going to click on save to confirm. Next, I will do the same with this pink heart knit fabric simply click on that page right there and 
go to save, click on it, and then select image, click on OK. And I'm going to remove this in right here and navigate to my desktop. And after that, I'm going to select JPEG and by default image combined into background that's what we want medium icc profile box is checks and i'm going to click on save okay now we are going to save this loop data here once again click on that loop page and then go to save and this time let's just eliminate that cotton cable knit and then perfect so schema, Seiki, my design, and then picture directory, that's what we want. And I'm going to click on save. I will also save this image here as well. So just save, and then image, click on OK. So just eliminate this on cotton cable nits, good enough. Instead of desktop, I'm going to select Shima Seiki, my design, and I will change this to JPEG and then image combine in background, medium, profile perfect. And I'm going to click on save. Finally, we want to close all these pages so we can create a one by one rip knit for the cup and hems. To do so, I will go to this trash can icon, click on that twirling menu, and then come down here and select close all. Then this warning window pop up. Concave unit have changed. Do you want to say we will select no to all? Just like that. So now it is ready for us to create the one by one rib knit fabric. To do so, I will go to new once again then this time i'm going to have the name one by one rib knit with four stripe yeah it's a long name but i do like how my name to be descriptive as possible so easy for me to find in the future and we want to select texture 7g then click on ok to confirm okay so we want the size of the width to be 20. I'm going to select and type in 20. Then the height, I want to change that to 24 and then click on OK. After that, be sure that seamless repeat pattern box is checked and come down here. Instead of select user, I'm going to select one by one rib. Okay. The color, I will leave the color as is for now. Then I'm going to click on OK to confirm. Next, I will go to toolbar and select stripe and the stripe window pop up. OK, by default, I have four stripe created in the path. So Apex Fit Design Junior try to help us out by save all that data for us. If we just want to change the color of the stripe or the direction, we don't have to start it from scratch. However, though, for this example, I will create the stripe from scratch. So first, I want to delete all this stripe here by go to the Traskin icon and click on the twirling menu. Then come down here to delete all, just like that. Now. I also want to delete this stripe direction. So to do so, I will go to the Traskin icon once again and then click on the twirling menu and then come down here to delete all. Okay, so now I'm going to create new stripe, which is total of four stripe. To do so, I will go to this add button right here, click on one to create stripe. Then I want to change this side to six centimeter. To do so, be sure that unit is in centimeter. If you're different, click on the tooling menu right here to expand so you see more units appear here. So once again, I'm going to select the CM for centimeter. Then I will 
type in 6 centimeter and click on this enter here to confirm. Now I have 6 centimeter. Then I want to make 3 more copies by clicking on that stripe right there and then drag to this add button right here to make the copies. And I will do it one more and then finally the fourth one. Okay. Okay. So we want to change the color to black, white, brown, and pink. To change the color, once again, click on this color chip here to bring this color picker window. And I want to change that to black by clicking on this area here to get black but not so black because it would lose some detail on the fabric itself so be sure a little slightly black right there just like that then i'm going to click on ok to confirm next i want to change this to white click on the color chip and then select this color chip right here or you can simply click on this white area to get this white color then click on ok to confirm Next, I want to change that to brown. So once again, I can either click over there to select brown or I'm going to just come down here to this color chip and select the brown color. Then click on OK. Finally, we want to change this color to pink. Click on it and then scroll down until I see my pink color. Click on it and then click on this OK button to confirm. Okay. So by default, this stripe direction is created, which is perfect for us. And be sure angle is zero and we want to select area. Click on it to select. After that, I'm going to come down here and click on OK. So next we want to go to this toolbar and select loop edit, then this set gauge window pop up we want to leave everything as is and select ok to confirm next i want to select this one repeat so we can check the fabric and it looked pretty good to me i'm going to come down here and click on this repeat box here then i'm going to click on this loop sim icon to bring this loop simulation window be sure in Tasha slash structure box is checked and this high quality structure box is checked as well as random to minimum 5%. Quality is medium and create new page box is checked. Make shadow box is checked. Be sure you have 200 dpi for resolution. Then I'm going to click on execute to confirm. Okay, so Next, we want to change the yarn type, okay? Once again, we want to create cotton knit. We will select cotton yarn. So this is pretty cool. Instead of selecting one by one to change all the yarn, I can select this function right here. All select, click on it. And then I will come down here to text default number three click on it and then i'm going to click on this cotton zero one yarn then as you can see i change all the yarns to cotton yarns which is perfect and be sure all these auto side box are checked and come down here cotton count perfect next i will click on ok to confirm so as you can see right here we just created this perfect one by one rib knit for a design since we are finished i'm going to click on exit to get out of the loop simulation window now i'm going to save this knit fabric for the 3d garment as well as save the raw data for the future to do so i'm going to once again click on that image page right there then go to save here in the toolbar click on it and i'm going to select image and okay done so one by one rib with four stripe perfect i'm going to just remove this section here 
And then I'm going to navigate to my desktop. After that, I want to select the file type to JPEG and be sure image combine into a background, quality, medium, and ICC profile box checked. After that, I'm going to click on save. Okay, now I'm going to save that same image in with this loop data for a future use. To do that, once again, this image page is selected. I'm gonna go to this save button here, click on it and select image. Click on OK. One by one, rip knit with four stripe, perfect. However, instead of saving in my desktop, I'm going to navigate to Shima Seiki, my design, and I'm going to select the file type to JPEG. And once again, image combined into a background medium for the quality and ICC profile box is checked and I'm going to click on save. Next, I'm going to click on this loop page here and go to save. I want to remove this J here because I don't need it. By default, it is in Shima Seiki, my design perfect and we want this picture directory and I'm going to click on save to confirm. There you have a design style. We have created these perfect seamless repeat knit fabrics for the hoodie. So we have rib knit fabrics for the sleeve cuff and hems. We also have these diamond shaped cable knits for the sleeve, hood and the pockets as well as these perfect heart shaped cable knit fabrics for the bodice. I hope you guys find this video useful and remember to follow me on Encoded Fashion for awesome tips like this. Thanks guys!